So let us come back and see this question. One more question based on your boiling points. So we have understood one concept. What is the concept? <clears throat> Whenever there is hydrogen bonding, then and uh, that hydrogen bonding again they vary. They vary between a nitrogen atom and an oxygen atom. So ox nitrogen is less electronegative. So the particular boiling point was less compared to your alcohols and carboxylic acids. Now we'll come back to one more concept. What do they give us? Compare the boiling points among isomeric amines. What are isomeric amines? Basically, your amines, like your primary, having the same isomer means same, same unit. Mer means unit. Just like your primary, secondary, and tertiary amines. Primary, secondary, and tertiary are called isomeric amines. Done. So this is one way of questioning. Second thing, they've given us a particular formula, and they ask us to I mean a particular name of the particular uh, like name of this amine, and ask us to compare. Let's see. Both are the same. First of all, we'll write what are isomeric amines. Isomeric amines are basically your primary amine, secondary amine, and tertiary amine. Isomeric amines. Okay, what actually is this primary amine? Primary is, amine is nothing but nitrogen, yes, with one alkyl group and two hydrogens. Done. Secondary amine is nitrogen with two alkyl group and one hydrogen. Tertiary amine is one nitrogen and uh, nitrogen with two three alkyl group and no hydrogen. These are isomeric amines, right? Simple. Now they said <coughs> compare the boiling point. Now when I have to compare the boiling point, most important primary amines have more boiling point compared to secondary. Secondary amines have more boiling point compared to tertiary. What is the reason when I have to reason? Okay, first we'll make this as a box because basic information I have written. So what is the reason? When I have to write the reason, we very well know boiling point depends upon your hydrogen, hydrogen bonding. Yes, isn't it? And when I have to see the primary amine, you have two sites for hydrogen bonding. Yes. So when the hydrogen bonding is more, automatically the boiling point will be more. Yes, two sites. Done. Now here, there is no hydrogen in to form hydrogen bonding. So that basic important thing is, when I have to speak about primary amine, when I am writing the reason, in primary amine, you have <coughs> formation of, okay, let us write this hydrogen on this side. Intermolecular hydrogen bonding. Just see. This is nitrogen, isn't it? This is lone pair of electron. This is going to form a hydrogen bonding with H. Now, this is N. Now, link it with H. Now, th this part is written here. Now, leftover is nitrogen, R and H. Now, again, here nitrogen is here. Link it with one more hydrogen, N, R, H. So, this type of bond is called intermolecular hydrogen bonding. Inter, inter means between two intermolecular hydrogen bonding so now because of this intermolecular hydrogen bonding what will happen they get associated when they get associated automatically boiling point increases yes or no simple the same story Do, when, this is your which amine this is your primary amine now in tertiary amine, do we have intermolecular hydrogen bonding? Can it form? It can't form. So, write that reason. Now, let us write that reason. This is primary amine. In tertiary amine, in tertiary amine, no intermolecular, no intermolecular hydrogen bonding is observed. Hence, lower BP. Simple. I have written this reason. First question is over. So first <coughs> done. I wrote the reason. I wrote the concept. I gave the reason. Now let us come back to the next question. So with this concept, I they uh, asked me to compare between these two. Now in these two, let us erase this part of the board. Yes. What do I have in this is uh, part B. Why does propyl amine have higher boiling point? Let us write what is propyl amine. This is CH3, CH2, CH2. Propyl amine. Done. They have asked me N N dimethyl methanamine. Okay, it's simple for compound. There's nothing uh, big logic in this. I'm writing this compound here. So this is N and N. Both the terminus you have dimethyl. So uh, they said amine. So write N nitrogen methyl CH3 CH3 dimethyl N and N methanamine they said so again methyl 
group done let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and this is your n n dimethyl methan methanamine done yes so now what are you observing in this particular thing this is a primary amine isn't it because the group with two hydrogens this is your primary amine when i have to compare this one this is your tertiary amine now as we have said primary because of two sides of hydrogen bonding it has more boiling point tertiary doesn't have any hydrogen to form boiling point so it will have more compared to this yes this is what so the simple <clears throat> this will have more boiling point compared to this reason is the same because of because of intermolecular hydrogen bonding here absence of intermolecular hydrogen bond that's it simple i have written the reason for both general way as well as specific examples